Hello students, today we are going to talk about food and some issues related to it. Every day we eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. During these meals, we enjoy food of various smell, taste, texture. Basically, food provides a variety of nutrients to our body. We get carbohydrates from rice, roti, bread, etc. Pulses and sprouts provide proteins, whereas oil, ghee provide fats. Fresh vegetables and fruits are the rich sources of vitamins, minerals and fibers. Besides this, we drink water that is an important fluid inside the body. It means if we eat food in a proper way, we would stay fit and healthy. But have you ever experienced that sometimes after having a meal, you are experiencing stomach upset or vomiting? Sometimes there are news in the newspapers that people suffer from food poisoning on consuming food at a particular occasion and need to be hospitalized. So why does that happen? What is your guessing? Sometimes food gets spoiled and it is not suitable for consumption. Now you may have questions like how does the food get spoiled or how to make sure that food is safe to eat. Let's see some pictures. Just now you have seen some pictures where food was cooked or displayed or served. Do you think that these are proper ways of cooking and serving? Food may get spoiled by these ways and people may suffer on its consumption when they are on a day out with family or friends. And hence, next time, even if you see a variety of mouth-watering dishes like samosa, bhel, pani puri, etc., make sure that they are prepared and served hygienically before you enjoy them. In addition to unhygienic ways of cooking and serving, there are some other ways by which food spoilage takes place. I'll give you some examples that you may come across commonly. Ground nuts or dried coconut gives foul smell and taste different. It is said that they become rancid. Sometimes food grains stored in the house catch some infection. Fruits or vegetables or pickles may catch fungal growth. Even sometimes you may find worms growing in food items. This is all spoiled food and one should strictly avoid its consumption. The above examples may commonly be seen in the house, but food may be spoiled on a larger scale where it is stored after harvesting. For example, food grains like rice, wheat, maize, jawar, pulses should not be stored in rooms which are damp. Otherwise, they get spoiled due to microbial infection. Even rats, squirrels may spoil these grains. Storage of fresh fruits and vegetables and meat should be done at low temperature, else they get rotten. In all the above cases, quality, taste of food is affected. Now see some more pictures. In all these pictures, you have seen food items were stored in metal tins. This is processed food. That means some chemical treatment is done to food. Preservatives are added to it. Finally, food items are stored in the tins. If metal tins used are of low grade or quality, chemicals from food react with metal and spoil the food. So students, do you know that food spoilage can happen even at house? Can you tell me some examples? Food spoilage at home does not mean that it is infected. But even loss of nutrients from food, improper storage lead to its spoilage. Let's see some wrong ways of cooking and storage leading to food spoilage. Vegetables are washed after chopping. Nutrients are lost from vegetables as a result of washing. Utensils are not covered while cooking. There is nutrient loss. Undercooking food, especially meat, could be dangerous and may cause food poisoning. Reheating cooked food several times lead to nutrient loss. Food items are sometimes cooked by adding baking soda. 
This reduces quality of nutrients. Eating stale food could be dangerous. Storing sour food stuffs like curd, buttermilk, having acids and iron, copper, brass or aluminium utensils would be risky. Acids from these food react with metals and may spoil food. Eating the packaged food after expiry date may be dangerous to health. Hence, check expiry date of processed food and use within that time. Hence, after learning all these improper ways of cooking, you must make your friends aware of these issues. Now, I have a question for you. Every year, your mother, aunt or grandmother must be preparing different pickles at home. How do they store these pickles? And those pickles are enjoyed throughout the year by all. How is it possible? Children, while making all these pickles, large proportion of salt and oil is added to them. These work as natural preservatives and pickle remains tasty for a long time. While storing pickles, glass jars or earthen pots are used. These materials are safe and do not react with foodstuff. As pickles contain salt, they should be eaten in small quantities and occasionally as eating extra salt is not good for your health. Similar to salt, sugar is another natural preservative. Sugar is added to jams, jelly, muramba as preservative. Eating extra sugar is not good for health, hence eat jam in small quantities. Hence, while storing of processed food stuff at house, use of glass or good grade steel or earthen utensils is safe and reliable. So far, we have seen various ways by which food spoilage takes place. But the issue of food wastage cannot be ignored. With growing human population, demand for food is constantly increasing. Hence, a lot of research was done to produce more food to meet its increasing demand. This led to Green Revolution, White Revolution and Blue Revolution. Green Revolution means there was increase in agricultural produce and White Revolution is concerned with high production of milk. Blue Revolution refers to high production of seafood. As a result of this research, India has shown a good progress in food production. But on the other hand, there are large number of people in India who are starving. These people do not get one meal a day or do not get nutritious food to eat. Thus, there is a large population in our country who are undernourished including children and adult. So, it is our responsibility to prevent food wastage. This is quantitative food wastage. To avoid food wastage, we need to start from our home and make sure that food is not wasted. Students, you all must be carrying tiffin to your school. Do you finish tiffin properly? While having meal at home, do you eat all the food that is served in the plate? Even I am sure you must be enjoying food in the restaurants with friends and family. There, have you seen people wasting a large quantity of food? So, take small portion in the plate, finish it. If you like it, then take extra food. But you should not waste the food. In our country, food is also wasted during traditional feasts and banquets. If this food wastage is prevented and given to needy ones, problem of malnutrition can be solved to some extent. Food wastage can occur even due to wrong methods of farming, hand sowing of seeds, inadequate threshing, transport from field to storage place, improper storage, wrong methods of distribution lead to quantitative wastage of food. Summary In this video, you have studied about qualitative and quantitative wastage of food. Students, you have studied that food wastage is qualitative as well as quantitative. This can be avoided by following simple practices like proper handling, transport, avoiding wastage of food during celebrations, etc. Activity Create awareness among members of your family to avoid food wastage. Also, discuss effects of malnutrition with your family doctor. 